Today it's a very special day because behind those doors we find Europe's biggest coral breeder. So let's go! Hello and welcome to a very special video from... I always say the same in every intro. But yes, you're right, my videos are special. So, today we're gonna have a look behind the scenes of the Korallenzucht Wendel, a place from where a large part of the European corals are bred and resolved. For me, it's a great honor to be there because normally Jürgen Wendel, the owner, just sells his corals to exclusive customers and not to small private persons like me. So if you want to buy some of his corals, you have to go to the retailers. This time the way leads us to the German Pfalz. Here Jürgen Wendel started small and now he's one of the biggest in that game. We find 18,000 liters of water in this system. The large Schuran acrylic tank forms the center of the facility, but it is not connected to the breeding area. The 250,000 Euro Aquarium is 1.65 meters high and 2.4 meters in diameter. Professionals in this hobby will already recognize that the focus here is not on the corals. Jürgen Wendel uses this show tank to keep a variety of fish. Especially butterfly fish and angel fish love corals maybe even more than I do because they just eat them. So it is extremely difficult to stock such a tank with these fish and with corals at the same time. So there's only one rule. Survival of the fittest. Some large gorgonians, horn corals and a lot of anemones can usually be kept together with these animals. Attached to this tank there is a soft coral tank and an area where sediments can be deposited. This takes over a part of the nutrient supply. It doesn't matter which door you open, you are always standing in front of a new reef tank with incredibly healthy animals inside. All aquariums are made of acrylic. They are therefore enormously durable. And if you find the right door, a world opens up that I would not have expected. When else do you have the opportunity to see over 5000 golden torches at once? Think about what this is for a value when you pay about 150 to 300 euros in a shop. And the exciting, all corals we see here come from only 25 animals, which was bred by Jürgen Wendel over years. But what makes this system so successfully? The answer is experience and tryout. In dem Becken, wo wir jetzt gerade sehen, da war das Konzept über Fütterung des Becken am Leben zu halten. Also das Becken bekommt schon zum ersten Tag an ein Kilo Futter jeden Tag. Es wird kein Wasserwechsel kontinuierlich gemacht und dadurch stärke ich die Biologie. Fische sind gesund und im Endeffekt läuft alles rund. Man kann natürlich nicht, nicht alle Fische halten und vor allen Dingen bei der Koralle hat man eine sehr geringe Auswahl. Aber das liegt weniger an der Wasserqualität, das liegt dann mehr an der Fische. Exactly, Jürgen Wendel runs this system with food, regularly and in equal doses. 
But however, his coral breeding system is on another level. Because the entire system runs only with water changes. Yes, I also could not believe it, but it's true. So all the dosing pumps are switched off and some tanks, for example, these ones with the golden torches are running with 20% water change weekly and some others are operated with weekly 80% water change. The salt used here is the Tropic Marine Pro Reef. According to Jürgen Wendel, this system has some special features. So it can take two to three years until such a tank is stable. Also, this method of keeping corals is not ideally for every kind of coral. For example, the golden torches and the red gonioporas grow practically well, while some others may do not. The breeding system is designed to save as much energy as possible. So it is daytime in one tank and nighttime in the other. So after 8 hours the lightning phase changes. The T5 sun power lights are heating permanently. Since also in this system the nutrients are given by food, a large skimmer makes some sense. Alone in this skimmer are 900 liters. And when I build a new aquarium, I always order about 2 to 3 meters of PVC pipes. Here a total of 1 kilometer of pipes have been laid. And in the whole system there are only tons of flow pumps. <laughs> the large tank is also connected to an XXL calcium reactor. And another tank with sediments included creates additional area for biology. Seeing all this was an incredible experience. I'm really glad to be able to share this with you. So it would be awesome if I see you next week.